Hello and welcome to Simply Awesome Photoshop Elements Tutorials. My name is Chucky and today we're going to make this recomposed image of this squirrel and my dog Rhea. This comes from two different photographs. One is right there and one is right there. Now I want to jump over real quickly to what is new in Photoshop Elements 13. Over the next couple of weeks I'm going to go through some of these different options that the new version of Photoshop Elements 13 has in it. Now if you go to this tab over here you can see that Photo Merge Compose is in here and it tells you how you can copy from one picture and pull an image out and paste it into another one. Now we've always been able to do this but now there's a guided edit for this thing and I'm going to take you on how to do it manually. So let's go ahead and take a look at my original photo right here of this squirrel and my picture of my dog right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a selection around her and then I'm going to paste it onto the other image. So let's take a look at how these two differ. You can see right here this is the one that was done with the uh, photo, photo merge and this is the one that I did manually. I'm going to close both of these down right now and then we're going to go through the new way of doing this. Don't save right there. Now that I have these two images open right here, you can go to the photo bin and you can see that both images are open at this time. So you would just go to file then open to open your two photos. Then you want to go to the enhance menu, drop down to the photo merge, and then over here select photo merge compose. Now it gives you the standard looking guided edit. To get started we're going to drag and drop the image that you would like to extract. So I want to extract this image right here of my dog in the snow. I'm going to drag that on there right now. Then you need to start from the left and go to the right. We're going to make a quick selection right here. It gives you the idea of how to do this by telling you right here and showing you a picture. Select OK. If you need a bigger brush, you can use the right bracket and left bracket key. But I'm going to select as best I can. One of the reasons I picked this one is because she has a lot of flyaway hair in this picture. But I've selected the best I can right here. Now the next thing that we want to do is click the next button it tells you to draw an outline over what you want to create. So select OK. Now it's a little bit small right here. You can hit the Command Plus to make your image just a little bit bigger. And you can use the right bracket key once again to make your paintbrush a little bit larger. So what you want to do is you want to go over the fine hairs Usually there's hair on a model. There's also fine details and lots of different things that we want to extract. So we're going to trace all the way around this image right here as best we can with all the fine hairs. And then it's going to try to select what it thinks that we want to keep. So I've done a pretty good job so far. I'll keep going here, making sure to hit each one of her claws there. And keep going, trace, 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 trace. We're going to refine this just a little bit more as well. And there we have it. And as you can see, it tried to pick up a lot of the hair, but it didn't do a super job. The next thing we're going to do is go to the refine right here. It tells you that we can push in or pull out, depending upon whether we want to add to our selection or take away from our selection. So select OK. Once again, what we want to do is we want to put where we want to add to our selection in between the dark gray and the light gray. And we kind of want to push out a little bit. So as you can see, I'm kind of pushing out to all those little tiny hairs right in here. I'm just kind of pushing out, pushing out, and the 
marching ants are kind of following the hair. Once we have this done, we can smooth it out if we want to, we can add and subtract, but I want to go to the advanced edge refinement, which is right here. I'm going to select refine edge. Now right here it gives you the view mode. I like this white one. Sometimes you might want to use it on black right here, your image on black, but I like to use the one that's on white. Some people like using this overlay. Then what I want to do is I want to smooth it out just a teeny bit, three or four there, and then with this brush selected, I'm going to trace once again over the hairs, the real fine hairs right here. Just going to trace over those, and what it's going to do is it's going to try to pick those out for me. See, as you can see, it's getting back closer to her fur and only selecting parts of this. Now it still didn't do a great job. You can also use the eraser tool. Maybe you want to make sure that some of this is inside here, just meaning that maybe it made it transparent. So if there's any places that it made it a little bit too transparent, you can bring back some of those hairs right there. There we go. And I'm going to select this brush real quick again. See if I can do this. And use this eraser tool just a little bit more right there. Bring that back. It's looking pretty good, but there's another thing that we can do on the edge detection, and that's this smart radius box. And we can select this over to the right a little bit. It's going to try to add a little bit more of those fine hairs with the smart radius. I'm going to shift my edge just a little bit out because it brought too much of it in. Now that I'm done, I'm going to select OK right there. Next, we have this next box, which is right here. And then it's going to tell us what we're going to do next. And that is we are going to make and resize this image to how large we want it. So let's select Raya here, make her just a little bit bigger. And once we have her the size that we want her, we're going to tick the green checkbox right here. And then we're going to go to Next. Right here, there's one that says Auto Match Color Tone, so let's do that. It was a little bit white and a little bit cold, and what this is going to do is probably going to warm it up just a little bit right there. As you can see, it also took away some of the shadows, made it a little bit brighter. We can sit here and we can make the temperature just a little bit warmer by sliding this slider over. And once we're done, we select OK. It's going to compute everything and create our final document. Okay, and here it is, it's done. It looks pretty good, and if we wanted to, we could go back right here on our layer one and we could make any kind of adjustments. Maybe it's a little bit too warm, maybe there's not enough shadow, maybe there's too much uh, brightness or highlights, but I think it looks pretty good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this manually. So I'm going to close this back out. Don't save that one. This time I'm going to do everything manually. I'm in expert mode, so I'm going to go over here. I'm going to select my tools right here, my little brush. Looking down here, you can see that there is the quick selection brush, just like we did a few moments ago. So I'm going to make my selections right here real quickly. And then we have this Refine Selection Brush right here. If you don't see this, you can go to the Tool Options and then you can click on this. This is that weird, strange thing where you go inside the image and then you kind of push out with this little gray thing right here. So I'm not going to do very much of this. I'm just going to add a little bit to the selection. Then when I have what I want, I'm going to move on to the next step. That is the Refine Edge right here. As you can see, it's the same dialog box that we had before. I'm going to smooth this out just a little bit. Then I'm going to shift the edge a tiny bit. And then I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to paint right here where some of 
the details were lost right there. As you can see, some of the hair, some of that fine hair is coming back right there. You don't necessarily have to trace around the whole thing, but it will make it look a lot nicer. So once again, bringing all this hair back right here. It's doing a pretty good job. I've got to admit they've really made the refined edge tool in Photoshop Elements a lot better. Now we can go to our smart radius and we can bring this over here. It's going to bring some of the feathering back where the hair is. And then one last thing that we can do now is we can decontaminate the colors. If there was any kind of weird colors in there, we can bring this to the right and it will add some of the hair back in here. Now what I want to do is I want to make a new layer with a layer mask and select OK. After it does this, you will see that there is the checkerboard pattern right here. And then it turned off our visibility for our background layer. Now I'm going to place my squirrel photo in here by going to the File, Place. And then I'm going to select that blank squirrel one right there. When I'm happy, I'm going to tick the green checkbox. It filled it to the full screen. And then I'm going to drag this underneath my picture of my dog. Now I want to use my Move tool. Select the layer with my dog, Raya, on it. And then move this over just a little bit over there. And just like with the Recompose tool, if we want to go to an Enhance and make sure that we're on that layer, we can go over and we can change some things like this. We can make the shadows just a little bit lighter here and then if we wanted to go over and do some color correction right there we could color correct it and what it would do is it would warm this up to match this picture right here and there we have it so there's two different ways of pulling an object out of one image and putting it on another image there is the enhance photo merge and use the photo merge compose tool or you can do it the old-fashioned way and just use your selection tool the new refine selection brush and then use the refine edge if you haven't done so already please subscribe to this video channel so that you can get more Photoshop elements and Lightroom tutorials if you haven't visited me on the web I'm at simplyawesomephotography.com and I have a Facebook page at the same link, facebook.com slash simplyawesomephotography. This is Chucky. Cheers.